Now, the creator of some of TV's best-loved children's programmes, including Bagpuss, Ivor the Engine and The Clangers, has died. Oliver Boskate wrote the scripts, filmed the programmes and even provided the voices for some of his characters. David Silito looks back at his life and creations. Bagpuss. <coughs> the Clangers. <coughs> Ivor the Engine. They had boiled eggs for tea with toast to dip in them. And nog in the nog. So Oliver Postgate's out. comforting voice has enthralled generations of children. When they found the dragon, he wasn't fierce at all. He was a small ice dragon, the treasurer of the dragon's friendly society. He and Peter Furman created their little films in an old barn. Everything was homemade. They even knitted their own clangers. This is the what he turns into when he's made which is foam and his beautiful skin, which Joan Furman made, and they can go hand in hand, the two of them. But they were very successful. Bagpuss, for instance, was voted the most popular children's programme of all time. Madeline the Ragdoll, or Sandra Kerr, feels the magic owed much to Oliver Postgate's own personality. Oliver was eccentric in many ways. He was, he was delightful and fun, but he was eccentric, and that was great. He saw the world differently to lots of other people, and that's wonderful. But when Oliver Postgate started out in the late 50s, they were paid just £10 a minute. Children's TV was a tiny part of the schedules. Morning, nice the programmes, with their trademark of whimsy, wit and gentleness, may have been short, but their impact was long-lasting. By the 80s, though, they had fallen out of favour. They were considered too slow, too gentle for the competitive world of kids' TV and merchandising. And now they seem to be having a bit of an argument about their piece of rope. 20 years on, today's nostalgia is perhaps then not just for the TV programmes, but the type of childhood right, right, that went too. with them. That's no way for clangers to behave. David Silito on Oliver Postgate, who died at the age of 83. And we're grateful to have Sandra Kerr now, who co-wrote music with Oliver Postgate and played all the instruments. And she was the voice of Madeline and some of the mice. And she joins us now from her home in Northumberland. Thanks ever so much for being with us. So what was he like to work with? You're very welcome. What was he like to work with? He was with? wonderful to work with. Enormously great fun to work with. Uh, we never had a crossword. He was totally supportive of everything we brought to the programmes, uh, the instruments, the music that we played, the songs we wrote. Loved it. And uh, we had a terrific time. Are, are you going to play us something? Porcupine song? I am. I, well, I thought people might like to just have a reminder of the opening sound that you hear at the beginning of the programmes, which goes like this. And then there'd be Oliver, Oliver or, or Bagpuss actually yawning. And we used the, the same instrument, the auto harp, in one of the songs, which went like this. The bony king of nowhere sat upon his throne. He didn't much like sitting there because his throne was, his throne was made of stone. I have that was a, the bony king of no one. I have a vision of everyone sitting at home of a certain age <laughs> feeling fabulously, <laughs> fabulously uh, nostalgic at the moment. And also, I mean... I you, do hope so. You did some of the voices. I did. I was the terribly bossy rag doll, Madeline, a bit of typecasting there, I think. And we were all the mice, uh, Oliver and John Faulkner, who co-wrote the music with me. Um, and Are you going to uh, give us a little taste of Madeline? Gabriel. Oh, yes. I mean, she was so bossy. When the mice went on strike, uh, she said to them that they weren't allowed to sing. And uh, they said they wouldn't work unless they could sing. Um, but eventually they said, no, we'll go on strike. And she said, oh, all right then, mice. You may work and you may sing. And that it was that. It was very, very BBC and, and watch with Fantastic. Mother, I'm and what about the legacy that he left us with? Because they were... Of a certain style, those programmes, they were gentle, they were rather loving, they were affectionate, the characters as well, weren't they? 
they were indeed. I think the legacy is some wonderful stories, some wonderful ways of looking at the world and taking care of the world. I mean, that message, that environmental message of make, do and mend and uh, reuse, recycle was way ahead of its time. And of course, the other thing was his wonderful voice, his velvety voice. Yeah, ahead of his ahead of his time in his own way, wasn't he? Because of that that sort of totally. issues. Of, yeah, absolutely. I just wonder absolutely. before you go uh, whether yes. you play us the theme to Bagpuss when all the toys go to sleep. <laughs> well, the theme tune was this. A friend of mine, a porcupine, went up in a balloon. He sailed it here, he sailed it there, he sailed it nearly everywhere, except perhaps the moon. Fabulous. Sandra Kerr, thank you so much for uh, being with us and all you soppy people watching this at home and getting all nostalgic, <laughs> wipe that tear from your eye and pull yourself together. This is a news channel. <laughs>